Uh, okay, so we need to create more um, typical sections. Uh, they're, they're requesting that they sh the typical sections show why and when we're deviating from the existing um, alignment. Uh, we don't have an existing alignment, so the first step in that is going to be creating an assumed uh, center line for existing using uh, the topo that we have. Uh, we're going to create, I'm going to create a working file. You can use this one or you can uh, create your own. Uh, but basically, uh, did it, did it work? 11. Call it just center line. Save. I'm able to create. Let's try that again. That's why. Browse. Design 2D. Work 11. Exist. Center line. Shave. <clears throat> Basically what we're going to do is bring in uh, the existing center line. I believe it has uh, stripe or an existing topo. I believe it has the um, striping on there. We're going to follow the center line striping and call that our assumed center line. Uh, that'll work for now. If that doesn't, you know, we'll have to. This, like, this is just a kind of initial thing. So uh, I'm working on that right now. So give me just a few minutes. Let's see. We'll bring in. We'll attach the reference file from others. A Z B and the. Topo 2D R1. Okay. Uh, we'll go ahead and create a new level. Call it assumed. Now we'll call it exist center line assumed. Uh, we'll have this as a. It doesn't really matter. Uh, this is always four for uh, alignments. And we'll do one. Um, all right, don't lock up on me. Uh, we don't need all of these. So turn the display. We'll turn them all off. And then turn on the stuff that we need. The aerial road paint stripe. That's basically the primary thing we're using here. Uh, we'll also turn on I think it's paved curb. Just kind of give us a, a feel for where it should be. Uh, and what I want you to do is start creating a line. Not used to the single screen yet, so give me a break. Place a line. We know we're gonna be basically following this double yellow line. Or why is that all off? Let's fix our line first. Oh, I didn't override. It needs to be in. By level, red, four, and one. And go back to overrides and turn them all off. All overrides off. It's a default setting uh, from the seed file that we have that all the overrides are on to zero, zero, zero. It's good practice to come turn them off. So now we got our line. And here's the, the like that. And 
a little bit curved and then another straight section so it's easiest for me to do the straight sections first and then come in and put the curves in between uh, I always like to use start in mid uh, and use these locks so we want to tangent to this and a tangent to this one up here I have a feeling that this is not just one curve And then we we'll do our best fit in between. Yeah, that worked out pretty good. Look at that. Uh, do that, but basically we're creating the center line, the existing center line alignment uh, by hand. Uh, once we got that done, we can see where our new alignment is, uh, and um, in reference to that. So this will be the first step. Once you get that done, we'll, we'll move on to the next step.